Hey guys, Marcus Manus. Today's review is going to be a product review. It's something that's new to me. I'm not sure if it's 100% new, but it is new to me. And this is the Unishim. It is a shimming fastener for receptacles and switches. So maybe you've got a sunken outlet in your house, or maybe you've installed one into a box where it's not been set correctly. It sticks back and you go to put your plate cover on and it just looks really bad. And then you need to fix it. You need to get that receptacle flushed out. Well, that happens because basically there is a gap between your box and your finished surface. A lot of times that happens, especially like with tile backsplashes, things like that, where now you've added material on your wall surface, but your box is staying in that same location. Now you've got a gap between it and your finished surface. You've got to fill that in with something. You've got to shim this box out if it's not an adjustable box or, you know, whatever it might be. And there's always been lots of ways to do this in the past. The one I've used the most and I've also got a video for is these little plastic spacers right here. So basically, if you've got a gap this big, you can use one spacer. If you've got a little bit bigger gap, you can go two, go three, however far you need to go. This basically sits in between your screw and your receptacle. You put your receptacle in, it fills in that gap. Again, a lot of people use these. These are probably the most common in my opinion. They also come out with these box spacers, which come in different thicknesses from eighth inch, quarter inch, half inch so then you can combine those different sizes so if you needed an eighth inch and a quarter inch you could put those two together if that's what your gap is essentially you put these on your box it extends that box out install your receptacle the same way you always do that fills in that gap however with these you pretty much have to know exactly what that size is or they have to come in a size that's going to work out exactly how you'd like it to be in order for these to work so these aren't quite as adjustable as maybe the plastic inserts are and then another option is going to be the flush fit. This is basically a metal bracket that you can add on to there. And now that's going to kind of catch that hole that's too big in your drywall. It kind of extends the ears of your receptacles, what that does, and allows that to kind of keep your receptacle flush with the drywall. Personally, these aren't my favorite of the bunch. I don't really like these. I do keep some tucked in underneath of my uh, pack out containers right here just in case because sometimes they work but they they're the ones that don't work the most in most situations in my opinion but then we're going to get to the unishim and again i picked up these unishims for 15 dollars on amazon for a 50 pack so that's going to cover 25 receptacles or switches because you're going to use two on each one main reason why i wanted to try these out is for one that's very small package to cover that many switches or receptacles i mean you could imagine if i needed to carry around multiple sizes of these to do that same amount of receptacles or switches that's going to take up a lot of room versus this right here i can pretty much just throw this over my pack out organizer takes up very little space you know that's what i really like about it and the other thing is the fine tuning of the adjustment on it so Something like this, again, you might have to use an eighth inch and a quarter inch if you've got a three eighths gap. You're gonna have to carry multiple sizes. And then again, you might have something between three eighths and a half inch that you can't really get it exactly how you want it type thing. Same thing with these plastic ones. Uh, even though they are kind of adjustable of different thicknesses, there's always gonna be maybe some point in there where you're not gonna be exactly where you want it to be. Maybe you're gonna be shimmed out just a little bit too far or you're gonna be still a little bit too sunk and you can't really get it exactly how you like it. So that's one thing that I like about these is how small these are. So you can see it's like a little washer. Also, the main thing is that little nub right there. If you can see that, hopefully that's the key thing right there. So. How this works, you just basically put it on your screw, on your receptacle with that little nub facing the receptacle or facing where outward basically to where it's gonna end up touching this right here. So we're just gonna slide two of those on. I'm gonna put them randomly on some spot. Slide another one on that bottom screw also. And you can leave the little plastic spacers are the little plastic pieces that hold your screws in. Those can even stay on your receptacle. You don't have to take those off. So again, you're just gonna slide this on. It's essentially like putting a nut onto that screw. Now we're gonna take and put it onto the box. Let me go ahead and get that lined up and get my screwdriver. I need a Phillips. You're just going to start your screw and as you're screwing that screw in, you can see that that washer is still spinning and going in towards the edge of the box. I'll get the other one started as well. Get that screw started. And then you're essentially going to take your washer get it to where you kind of got it to the point of wherever it is on your wall so you need to start this washer kind of get it adjusted so if i need to make up a gap that is this big essentially i need to get this washer to the edge of whatever that gap is going to be so as i screw those in you'll notice those washers just keep spinning with your screw 
So you're going to think, well, those are just going to keep going in. What good is that going to do? But once I take my receptacle and press it in against those washers, that's where it makes contact with that little nub. And now whenever I take and tighten this screw, you're going to see that that washer is going to move a little bit and then it's going to catch. Once that catches, I can tighten that screw again. I'm keeping pressure on my receptacle and pushing it against that. That's what that little nub is catching, causing it to hold in place. So once I get this screw tightened up against that washer or against that nut, basically is what I'm going to call it, that tightens up your receptacle against it. So basically what you're doing is you're putting a nut on your screw, you're sandwiching it between your receptacle and that's what's gonna hold it in place. So that's extremely tight right there. We'll go ahead and get this other one going too. I'll try to get the gap the same. So again, gonna take, if I screw it here, that is gonna keep spinning. But if I press the receptacle against it, you'll see that little nub right there. As soon as that catches on something, as you're pressing, again, you have to keep pressing in as you screw this. That washer doesn't move, but your screw gets tighter. And then once you get it tight, it's the same as really sandwiching your screw. See, that's tight or I can't even turn it anymore. And now I've filled in a gap of this big. So if that was my gap, I'm now going to be out. I put the receptacle cover on there. It's no longer going to be sunken. It's extremely tight. Like I can't wiggle that receptacle at all. It doesn't press in and out. So it's very, very secure. Uh, definitely a good option as far as the minute adjustment that you can put on there. I personally really like it again for the space saving of the storage. Also that fine tune adjustment and you can still use it with. So like if you have a big gap and you've got wood exposed or something, and you need to use one of these type spacers or box extenders, the washer still catches on that as well. So I was wondering if it would catch since it was gonna be hitting this plastic, it still catches. So you can even use these washers with this type of setup right here if you need to extend your box and then also put a box extender in to cover that. Cause that is the one nice thing about these shims here is that you are getting the box extender and also the shims at one time. But again, the fine tune adjustments not there with these. You don't have that like what you have with the Unishim. But again, it's just another option to fix a problem of a sunken outlet that we've probably all ran into over the course of our careers. Again, they have boxes now that allow you to adjust it. If you're building your house or doing something new, I would suggest always using those. That way, if you need to change something later, you can do that. But there's plenty of times whenever, you know, these are going to work for you. There's been multiple times where I've used these for years. They work just fine. But in both of those cases, there's been times where the thickness has not been the exact desired thing that I've wanted. It's either been just a hair too thick or not thick enough. These are what I like about these is that you have that fine adjustment. You know, I can move those in basically one thread at a time if I want to, to get the exact result that I'm looking for. So I decided I'd try them out. Again, I haven't used them a whole awful lot, just mostly tested them out. I did use them on one receptacle as far as to fix it, just to try it out as well. And again, I'm pretty impressed with them from the get go. Time is going to tell. I think there's still going to be times where I'm going to use all these other options. It never hurts to have multiple ways to go about fixing the same problem. But again, that's just my take on them. I'm interested in your take as well. If you've used the Unishim, let us know in the comments below what your experience has been with them. If you use another product besides the ones that I've shown today, or if one of these is your preferred method, drop that in the comments below as well. But as always, I'm just letting you know that this is out there. Hope that it's helpful in some way. Hope that it's useful. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.